What is left of Harvey is moving toward Arkansas and Mississippi right now. The storm killed at least 29 people. About 50,000 homes in Texas have been hit by flooding or other damage. Rising water forced new rescues yesterday east of Houston. Boats and helicopters were used to help people in cities like Beaumont and Port Arthur. Beaumont's water supply was knocked out overnight. And there's a critical need for shelter in Orange, Texas, near the Louisiana border. Michelle Miller is there with the story of a church that has too many people and not enough help. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. More about that church later. I want you to see this. It wasn't just rain that 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 those outer bands produced, but power, power, um, excuse me, wind and the high winds of 40 miles an hour knocked down trees and power lines like this clearing out any electricity for the folks here. But the biggest challenge remains flood water, several feet of it. And we should note this, there's all kinds of debris and chemicals and ugh, critters like snakes. We have seen them floating around out here. Uh, makes these residential neighborhoods simply look like bayou backland. It was like a storm I ain't never heard before in my life. Floodwaters forced Veronica Sam and her family from their Orange, Texas home. The small community of less than 20,000 is struggling to recover from Harvey's impact with limited resources. The North Orange Baptist Church is one of two operating shelters in town. Church pastor Rusty Dollar says they're at triple capacity with nearly 400 people crammed inside. The cool thing is people come together to show love and our challenge is we just don't have the resources. Where do all these people go then? I don't know. We've talked about some people like trying to bring in buses to help take them to other shelters. But what other shelters? We don't know. We have a lot of good people here wanting to help and a lot of people here needing a place to stay. And you can just see the heartbreak in people's eyes going, where do I go? And I'm like, I don't know. We've been working since 530 this morning. Caretakers and volunteers work together to evacuate dozens of people stranded at an assisted living home. We got you to a good place now. We're going to get you out of the weather, OK? And brought them to the church. So I'm just trying to do what I can to help these people. You know, it's, it's total devastation. Uh, my heart just. I just got to hold together so I can help these people. The one thing folks here don't need any more of is rain. And while it's bone dry now, more rain is forecast. Margaret. Michelle, thank you. Yeah, you never think about what he was just saying. I'm just trying to help them. But I never thought until our reporting about snakes and alligators oh, wow. in the water. Oh. You're thinking you're just trying to survive and now you have to deal with that too? And apparently they're everywhere. Yeah. That's... Treacherous escape yeah. if you're going to make one at all.